there's a fatigue which has come in. Nobody wants to discuss it. Even at seminars and conferences, Afghanistan has just fallen off the map. Everybody's talking about the Ukrainian conflict or Central Asia. But this has really fallen off the high table. Is a regional solution possible? Everybody in this area has a different solution to Uh, mm -hmm. Afghanistan. I, I agree very much so that the Western interest has sort of diminished. And what I think for many people inside the country, the expectation now, now is to see Muslim majority countries to stand up and to speak up for the people. That this is not Islamic. What you're doing to the people of Afghanistan, whether it's on education, on work, on compulsory hijab, on all these sort of every aspect of a person's life, this is not what... Islam teaches. I just have a question back. So, which country do you see to to lead this? If when you when you was talking about Muslim countries needs to stood up and say so, whom do you see in that? Qatar, for example, it's it's all of OIC. Land. I would think oh, of course, all, all of, of Central why Asia. doesn't OIC step in? Yeah. Why why always look towards the EU or towards America? Why not? There are rich countries in the organization of Islamic countries. So why Absolutely. not? Absolutely. I don't think it's a good idea to make it as a religious religion problem, which is say that those religion. countries who are having the same religion should get, take more care about it or not. I'm not saying that Muslim countries need to care more than the rest of the world. I'm saying we share the values more closely with the Muslim countries. And more importantly, the Taliban are um, introducing laws based on Sharia law. There needs to be more clarity and, and engagement with the Taliban to make it clear that this is not Islamic in yeah. any way and form. Unless you stop terrorism in a country, nothing else works. So America kept using Pakistan as the front line on fighting terror. And by doing that, you made Afghanistan fall more and more into the abyss. It was like wearing blinkers all the time. Why didn't the Americans realize that this slide is going to happen? We don't know the threat that Pakistan poses to Afghanistan. So we were there, the military, there's, there's uh, American blood on hands of the people that you're referring to. So we are very well aware of how much the sort of activities that happen from Pakistan over to Afghanistan. Uh, Pakistan is, a, is an interesting uh, and increasingly perhaps rapidly going through a failed state because of the inherent inconsistencies within its governing system. So the internal system and durations of Pakistan are such that the idea that somehow we or anybody else can force Pakistan to sort of abide by one way or the other, uh, it, it's not possible, even, even the army cannot do it. The, the issue being, yes, Pakistan remains a source of instability in Afghanistan. You and I may differ as to how well Pakistan is able to sort of, it has an ebbs and flow in it. And certainly when we were there, you had a little bit of a control, but now that's fallen apart. And even Taliban and Pakistan is having a increasingly sort of fractured relationship even today. But I think a, a bigger issue uh, is to refer back to what can we do? I mean, we can cut this 17 different ways. But the realistic one, so I, I both agree with Shabnam, and I think it's really people like yourself who will keep the call going because the rest of us have moved on to Indo-Pacific and FOIP and Ukraine. Yeah. Eunice, what about the refugees uh, you know, who, who are there in Germany? What about their cultural uh, integration? Is it complete? The question is, who is coming to Germany kind of refugees? So I've co-founded with some friends of mine an online digitalization university where especially people from Afghanistan who came to Germany, who doesn't have any documents, any papers, if they have any degrees or not degree, just to study online, just to have, be there for two years to study online, to, uh, to collect their credits, to reach a bachelor degree. After the two years, we can see what um, the German government is saying, if they can stay or not staying, not to losing their time, to use the time, to be integrated, to be educated. This is the thing what we can do. And I think that we have many Afghans, as I say, the biggest community, in Europe is Germany. We have over 400,000 Afghans in um, Germany. And I think um, there are many people of them integrated. So there is always a way if they are so willing. EU itself has, I think, uh, since 2016, given some five billion dollars, right? So the European way of doing things is here, take the money. This is not maybe yeah. the right way. And it's also not take the money. Over 45 nations have been taken care of for years and years and years. What's the, resu what's the result? So the result, the last 20 years was the result. 
There was more uh, girls in school than any other time. There was a change in, in political system, more women in, were in parliament, there were introductions around human rights across the country. The Indian National Security Advisor said that there needs to evolve a mechanism uh, where there's intelligence and security cooperation on Afghanistan to set aside differences that you may have about what Afghanistan needs, what Afghanistan wants, to bring about first peace and security. The largely the impact on the security thing would be to contain the security threats from Afghanistan in the region. So that would be, and that's what particularly, of, you know, India has a point of view, but certainly of Pakistan and Iran and Central Asia has it. And that's why Central Asia is not taking refugees and taking a pretty strong line. So that's that perspective. Uh, and I think sharing of information, that's all that's happening. I've never ever served in a country where I was more impressed by the women than I was in Afghanistan. If you ask a question in an interview, where do you see yourself five or ten years of a man and a woman in Afghanistan, a woman would invariably say prime minister or president of Afghanistan. So the greatest loss we have had really is of Afghan women. Now having said that the greatest legacy that America and NATO left in Afghanistan was really the aspirations of its young people. And so we hope that through that comes the new Afghanistan and whenever that is, we'll be ready to sort of help and move it forward. But at this moment, realistically, the security threat will be to look at and say, hey, nothing comes out. Mm -hmm. But the humanitarian issue is within it. And that will just do as best as we can through proxies, the UN and other international, till we get to another spot. Click here to watch the full episode.